Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading, yes? Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a timeless reading. So yes, it may be dated for July of 2022, but that's really just for organizational purposes, okay? Um, this, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, I'm sorry, guys. There was something, there was a hair in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also, this is a timeless reading, like I was saying. So even though, yes, it is dated for July, or it says it's your message for July of 2022, this does not have to resonate for you in July only, okay? This can resonate for you at any time. The, the distinction about the whole July thing, that's just for organizational purposes, yes? This can resonate for you at any moment. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here to the channel, hello, it is wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys, yeah? Uh, and general message, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, regardless as to whatever form of astrology you follow, if you're looking for, a message for the sign of Aries, then this is your video, yeah? Last shuffle here. Let's see what we've got. What's going on for my Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and north node. What's going on for Aries? What messages do we have for Aries at this time? For Aries. First card is the page of pentacles. It looks like... Um, First thing I want to say is you're starting a new business with this page of pentacles. I'm hearing some sort of entrepreneurial energy, entrepreneurship. Uh, you may be in business for yourself. I'm hearing business is going quite well or fairly well. Um, for a lot of you, for most of you, this page of pentacles feels like you're stepping out um, in business on your own in some way. Come on. Come on, why don't you, why don't you, there we go. Um, it, it, it's like you're stepping out in business in some way. Whether this is you starting a new business, okay, see, look, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck right now. Whether this is you starting a new business um, or what I'm feeling very strongly, dominantly here, Aries, is that you may have some sort of business that you already do on your own. For some of you, this might be a side business. I did just hear, or it's a side business. But the strongest thing that I'm feeling about this, Aries, is that you are revamping this somehow or trying to revamp this somehow. Um, I'm hearing trying to get this thing off the ground, but the strongest thing that I'm getting from this energy with this page of pentacles is you trying to rework the situation so that there is a better outcome, okay? What else is going on? Tell us the story for Aries. Yeah, see here, the next card is the Six of Pentacles. So it seems like, Aries, it seems like there is some sort of, for the most part, Aries, this really does feel like it's a business endeavor. I do hear that, I, or I did hear that. If, why won't, I don't know why it won't. I'm sorry, guys, it's not. <laughs> Come on, I just want you to, to focus. There we go. Um, this for the bulk of you this feels like it's business all right um there's something that is imbalanced here or you're trying to, to i feel like you're trying to get a better payout or you're trying to get something a, a little a greater level of reciprocity i i wanted to say a greater le level of equal reciprocity um, maybe there is a level of reciprocity here, but it's not quite to your liking. Um, and this is not something that feels really greedy, Aries. It, it feels like what I just heard, actually, for some of you, it's I heard you're working yourselves to the bone or you're working yourself very, very thin um, and you need to bulk up the returns on this project. For some of you, actually, you're saying to yourselves either... I find a way to make to get more out of it out of this to make more money here to to re to receive more or I've got to find 
something else or I've got to find a new avenue or a new way to do it, a new way to push forward, I just heard. Now, for others of you, this absolutely could be a relationship, um, uh, romantically speaking, if that's the case for you or if that's what's going on for you here. This does... This does feel like it's a relationship, whether it's your relationship to a specific job, a specific career path, a specific side job, or this is your relationship with uh, another person, an individual. For some of you, this could be friend, a family member, I am feeling, uh, potentially, potentially a mother, um, but actually it could also be, it could be a stepmother um, or a mother-in-law, someone, maybe someone that you have a strained relationship with. I get this feeling of trying to start over, turning over a new leaf. So just like I was saying, Aries, for if this resonates for you in terms of business, um, it still applies if it's like a relationship with another person. There seems to be a level of give and take that needs to be equal. And what I'm getting with this page of pentacles energy is an energy of uh, starting over. Now, especially Aries, if this is resonating as a relationship, there is a somberness in the energy or in the in in this dynamic. Um, it feels like somebody may be really looking at the bigger picture or maybe really biting the bullet here or maybe in some ways I want to say I wanted to say swallowing their tongue but it's like it's as if you're accepting something or you're you're how do I put this into words it's like you're giving in a little bit somehow um but it, it feels like you're taking the higher road here you're being the bigger person if this is a relationship in terms of starting over turning over a new leaf and starting over in order for you guys you guys to create a level of um greater reciprocity a better foundation of greater reciprocity in this relationship because quite frankly aries i really do feel like you could turn around and walk away at any time like it's really not your responsibility to like this person let alone make sure that you have a better relationship with them but there is something here about there's something i'm feeling in this aries about you or somebody being the bigger person, which is facilitating this new commitment in terms of uh, generating greater reciprocity or getting certain situations or getting the situation so that you can, there is a better foundation of reciprocity within it. Okay. And excuse me. Um, it could even be, even if that is, your relationship with this job or the, with this career path again the energy is still the same there is a somberness here there is there are feelings of greater reciprocity there are feelings of being the better person or being a little more disciplined or or or, or um, biting the bullet on this one or taking one for the team somehow in order to turn over a new leaf and generate some level of greater reciprocity equal give and take in this relationship again whether it's a relationship between you and another person it could be romantic it could be platonic or if you if it's a relationship between you and a job a career path a hobby a side gig but not whatever okay you're trying to get more out of it okay and there's and there's a somberness in the air about it not to say that you're sad or upset or anything but there is you're taking it seriously. There's definitely a level of taking this seriously, maybe a little more serious than you have in the past. Okay, uh, anything else? At least one last card here to finish out this story. Please spirit for my Aries. Yeah, see, and then the last card you have here, Aries, is the Four of Swords. There is definitely an energy here of taking this taking something a little more seriously or being a little more somber or being a little more level-headed or working on being more level-headed okay yeah that makes sense aries overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the sun i like that you know what i don't like however i don't like the fact that my phone doesn't seem to want to there we go <laughs> 
the sun, okay? Um, good things, bright, happy things are going to be coming through. Um, Okay, so what I want to say here, Aries, is that the level of reciprocity that you receive in terms of this situation is directly related to how committed you are to taking the proper steps um, and keeping the proper elements in line for that reciprocity to flow through so um i'm definitely getting a, a a bit of a constructive energy okay whether it's actual like literally you're building some sort of network or foundation or you're building some sort of situation in order for things to come in to for the space to come in or this is just figuratively or like energetically you're holding the space you're keeping the commitment you're being diligent you're doing the right things that you know either you need to do or the things that you know would be conducive to allowing this greater level of reciprocity to enter into the situation, okay? Being very level-headed, being very somber, being very serious about it. Not to say that you're not necessarily having fun if that's applicable or at least trying to have fun. It, it's not like there isn't a level of enjoyment here or at least you it, it's not like you can't enjoy things that are going on but it's very serious very level-headed very committed to the point you know I, I have a certain goal in mind in terms of this situation and i am i have every intention of meeting that goal beautiful i will say aries with the sun here chances are really good if not excellent. I mean, I don't wanna say it's surefire. I don't wanna say it's guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed here. What I will say in terms of this energy, as it stands right now, you're in a very good position, I feel like. I, I, I wanna say for some of you, for a lot of you here, you're ahead of the curve, okay? That's, that's a dominant feeling. That is definitely a dominant feeling. You are ahead of the curve in this one, Aries. You might be really ahead of the pack. There is also an energy here of feeling like you are so far ahead that you can almost take a leisurely pace if that is, if that is applicable to you. It just feels like, Aries, you're dominant here, which, go figure. <laughs> big surprise it's Aries right you're ahead of the curve or you 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 have something figured out or you're ahead of the pack or you you have some sort of advantage there's some sort of advantage that I'm feeling here for you Aries it's a dominant feeling it may not be for all of you but it, it is a, a feeling of ease here Okay, and maybe that's just because you're connected to the abundance of the universe, you're in the flow of the situation, or you have some sort of edge that kind of puts you ahead of the pack, ahead of the curve or something like that. But there is a level of ease here. I don't feel like you have to work all that hard or all too hard to accomplish this goal of greater reciprocity in this situation. And a lot of that could have to do with the discipline that you're exhibiting here or the new level of discipline that you are exhibiting here in terms of this situation that is helping to facilitate this state of ease. That is excellent. I'm gonna give this one last shuffle and then we're gonna clarify, all right? I really like this energy for you, Aries. All right, so let's clarify the page of pentacles then or actually, you know, the Page of Pentacles is first. Okay, clarify the Page of Pentacles for Aries, please. One last card. Oh, okay. I asked for one last card. You get, th you get two more. All right. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, okay. Six of Cups, King of Swords. Yes. All right. See... Yes. Okay. Overall energy. It, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, guys. Overall energy is the six of pentacles. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm sorry. I needed to adjust some things around, move some things around. But the overall energy here is, in fact, the six of pentacles, Aries, which is hilarious because it's funny because I was going to try and start with clarifying the six of pentacles, but spirit said no let's do the page of pentacles first so this is definitely your 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 
taking new steps, okay? You're committing to something new, you're starting over maybe, or you're building a better foundation is what I'm hearing in terms of trying to receive greater reciprocity out of this situation. So this is something that you've been working towards for a long time already, okay? Or at least there's some sort of involvement that you've had in this situation up until now, okay? Nine of wands here. And you've, I, I really feel like you've been persevering in a, in a pretty strong way. Like there's some, Aries, there's something about this situation, again, whether it's a job, a hobby, a career path, or whether it's an actual relationship with another person. Again, I still get that this is a feminine energy that is the focus, that, that is the focus of who the other person is if this is a relationship with you, okay? I'm seeing a woman, so I'm just reading that as a feminine energy. It could be a man that embodies more feminine energy, um, but it also, it, the dominant feeling here that I'm getting is some sort of mother, some sort of mother figure, mother, grandmother, stepmother, um, mother-in-law, I don't know, something like that. That's what I'm feeling dominantly, but take it as it resonates, because again, this is a general reading, but. You've been up against this situation for a long time, the Nine of Wands, and I feel like specifically with this Nine of Wands energy here in terms of this, you guys have been going about this situation or circumstance in the same manner or at least a very similar manner for a very long time. And finally, something has given. There's, there's some sort of energy here that something's got to give. I don't know... I don't know what exactly it is that made you that that caused you to start to pay attention to how you feel here, Five of Cups, or um, at least, or maybe it's just gotten to a point where your sorrow in terms of the situation or how it is you feel, you've lost something or just how bad you feel about it because it's not going in the proper direction or it's not working out to your favor or your liking or whatnot, whatever. This Five of Cups energy. I don't know exactly what it was, but eventually, I guess, your feelings about the situation started to become strong enough or you'd been swimming in these same feelings for the longest time or you've been dealing with the same energy for the longest time that finally something clicked and you're just like, I don't want to feel like this anymore. Something happened that got you to start to pay attention to this Five of Cups energy involved, involved with the situation. And the dominant thing that I'm feeling here is that it probably just... It reached a certain level to where now you're like, okay, I'm gonna do something about this now. What do we do about that? Enter or cue the Six of Cups to the King of Swords. There is some sort of objective point of view, objective viewpoint here. Point of view, viewpoint, like good job. Like, <laughs> sorry guys. Anyway, um, I'm repeating myself here, but there was, there is, there is a level of objectivity that has come into the situation, King of Swords and the Six of Cups, in terms of you looking at what the situation has been in terms of the past. Like looking back on the past and saying to yourself, okay, what's going on here or what's been going on here and how do we fix this? How do we make it better? How do we bring a greater level of reciprocity into the situation, Six of Pentacles? And that has ultimately got you to start a turn over a new leaf, start a new project, start a new endeavor, um, start, a, start the relationship over, you know, squash the beef and turn a new page or start a new chapter, start a whole new book, um, uh, create some sort of discipline, d discipline plan of action to r achieve your goal, whatnot, whatever. Okay. All right, but ultimately there is some there you looked at the situation and said, "Okay, what has this situation been up until now and what can we do to fix it?" Okay? Beautiful. Now with that said, let's talk about the 6 of pentacles then. Clarify the 6 of pentacles, please, spirit. Clarify the 6 of pentacles for Aries. 2 of wands. There was a decision to make. Okay. Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Okay. Anything? Uh, yeah. And the Ace of... Oh, okay. The Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Overall energy is the Eight of Cups. Yes, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. This Eight of Cups makes a ton of sense because of the Four of Pentacles here. The Four of Pentacles is in reverse. Um, and... 
this is a really, this is a very good thing. This four of pentacles is in reverse because it literally feels like that moment or that situation or a, a, a situation in which someone decided to let go of some sort of long-standing position that they had held in terms of your of the situation involved here whatever this relationship is whether this is a relationship to a job a certain job a certain career path a certain hobby a certain side gig whatnot whatever or it's a relationship between you and someone else whether it be romantic or platonic there is some sort of long-standing position that you have held or that somebody has held here that they are now releasing. And it feels like, well, four of pentacles in reverse, okay? It feels like somebody here decided or has come to the understanding that whatever they could get, receive and or achieve in this situation, should they change their tune on, in terms of it, the, it would be a much greater, a much better payout than staying in the position that they were in for this long, in this long standing way. Four of Pentacles reversed. That was the decision that someone made. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. There is literally a recognition here, Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles, of someone being able to make more money or someone being able to be to have a better relationship with someone or someone have there is some sort of physical benefit ace of pentacles that someone has realized ace of swords that they would be able to have should they give up on whatever however it is they were digging their heels in in some way and walk away from that and move forward in a new way move forward towards a greater reciprocity six of pentacles okay Okay, Aries, this is very, very good. This is very good. I want to clarify the four swords next. Clarify the four swords for Aries, please, Spirit. Clarify this four of swords. Okay. First card you have is the sun in reverse. Interesting. Okay to the Eight of Swords, to the Knight of Wands. Overall energy, we're back to the Six of Pentacles. Back to the Six of Pentacles. You know what I wanna say, what I really, really, that doesn't, whatever. What I really wanna say about this, um, Aries, is what this Four of Swords says, is saying to you, it's, it's representing how cooler heads will prevail, or do prevail. Or, um, uh, you have this sun in reverse here. So the four of swords is, has come about because there was some sort of realization here, it seems. You do have the sun twice. Now, overall for you, Aries, the sun, the sun is upright here. But in terms of talking about this four of swords energy, this clarity of mind, this peaceful, calm mental state you seem to be in, that you seem to be holding. This does feel like a bit of that somberness I was talking about here. This might have been some, there may have been some sort of reality check for you, okay? There is something going on, Aries, that's causing you to like, not, to want to not be so hot-headed, to want to not be so quick to pop off or to fire off, to not want to be so aggressive, to want to take it easy, to want to fall back a second. You have the sun in reverse with the eight of swords and the knight of wands. Give me a second. Give me a second because I need to I need to I need to channel this for a second. There was some sort of realization. There's some sort of epiphany, some sort of aha moment, some sort of a certain level of awareness that you came to. That is helping you to break free from some sort from some sort of mental prison. Bear with me, I'm having trouble pulling this message here. Eight of Swords. There's, okay, like I said, there's a level of somberness here, right? There, this is kind of somewhere where the somberness has come from. Hold on. I actually, I wanna pull more. Can you tell me more about this Eight of Swords, please? Tell me more about this Eight of Swords for Aries. What's this Eight of Swords energy? Strength. Yeah, with the Eight of Wands. 
Okay, there's some sort of realization and the Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of realization that you that you have come to or maybe that you are coming to that and it's about this it's about some sort of position that you've held. And that's where the Eight of Swords comes into play here. Um, this, the, the position that you held or some way that you were feeling about something has been holding you back and it was egoic in a way. I'm not to say, not to say that you didn't necessarily have some sort of justification for the position that you were holding, but the justification that you, that you had at that time, it seems that the reality of the situation or what it is that you want versus what it is you currently have or you're currently receiving or some level of greater reciprocity or greater payout that you could receive outweighs or trumps whatever position you were holding that was keeping you locked up in the Eight of Swords energy. It's like you realize that maybe you were holding your own self back in a certain way by keeping a certain mindset. And something about this, Aries, is fairly humbling. I will say that. The Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck here. Um, this feels like the, the way that you were approaching the situation before in the past, what you were fighting for, this Four of Pentacles energy, how you were holding on to the situation. Um, and, 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 and so now with this cooler heads that are now prevailing and this sort of realization that you came to, the sun in reverse, that in which it was kind of like an ego check is what I feel like is going on here, Aries. Instead of using that energy to fight against whatever it was you were fighting against, now I feel like you're taking that Knight of Swords energy and you're cutting yourself free from this Eight of Swords energy, this mental prison. You're holding your ego at bay and you're, mo you're holding your ego at bay, the, 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 um, the strength card, right? And that's opening the doorway for you to move forward in a brand new way with a new sense of creativity, passionately, even eight of wands to the knight of wands. Okay. So cooler heads are prevailing here. There is a level here, Aries, of you coming to a realization or an understanding that you're not going to get what you want or you're not going to get where you're trying to go if you're going if you continue holding on to this certain position or this certain belief system or this certain way of seeing the situation, whatnot, whatever, eight of swords energy, because that was just holding you back. That was keeping you trapped. That was keeping you locked in to wherever you found yourself, whatever this five of cups energy, this dissatisfaction that you were experiencing with this relationship, again, whether it's a job, business, career path, or it's a relationship with another person. This is where that energy of, uh, that I was feeling of like the somberness or like maybe taking one for the team or maybe being the bigger person here. I don't necessarily even feel like if this does involve a relationship with another person, I don't even necessarily feel like you're talking to them about that. I kind of feel like you're taking this, keeping this element to yourself, which is kind of like a secret weapon here, which is also maybe where the energies of feeling like you're a little ahead of the, her the curve may be coming from, okay? Okay, Aries. Ultimately, though, this is a good thing. Mm hmm. Final message for Aries from the Tarot, please, Spirit. Close out this message for Aries. Final, like, outcome or closing message. However, you want to end this reading. Final message for Aries in this reading, please, Spirit. There's the Knight of Wands again. Okay. And the hermit. Um, all right. This is, this is a simple message. You know, hermit is the overall energy here. If my, if my camera will, there we go. Hermit is the overall energy here. The hermit is speaking to your level of self-awareness and how it is you are moving forward with that. I feel like this is encouragement for you to just keep moving forward in this way. Okay, Aries, especially since um, there is a level of humbleness going coming in online for you here. You re there's something uh, that's gone on here that you recognize that you needed to make a, a shift, an adjustment with, and I feel like that was internally. 
You had, to, you had to shift or adjust the way that you were approaching this relationship or situation in order for it to change and turn around for you. So however it is you're moving forward now, Aries, um, with this energy in this way, in this new way, Knight of Wands, this is encouragement for you to keep going because you're definitely going in the right direction. All right? Okay, closing Oracle Guidance. Crystal Mandala Oracle. I use this deck all the time, but it it just feels it feels right. I love it. It's my favorite deck. And there are so many like, there are so many cards in this deck, but I always I tend to get the same ones. It's very interesting. But anyway, I'm going to give this three shuffles and then we're going to close this reading out for you. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node last shuffle here, Aries. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Aries, please, Spirit. There it is. Card number 36, Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite, Relief and Repair. Like I'm saying, like I, these... <laughs> There are so many cards in this deck, but the same ones keep coming out consistently. Like this, I've gotten this card so many times in readings for people. It's very interesting. But anyway, hey, I'm going to take it. Here we go. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warm and nurturing will restore and rebalance our warmth, excuse me, and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nourishing grace. Um, I feel like this is a message in terms of however, whatever it is you're trying to repair, whatever it is you're trying to um, shift or change, I feel like this is a message to say that you're on the way there, that you're doing the right thing. Again, this feels like confirmation that this like just like this knight of wands energy that how whatever direction you're moving in now aries in terms of this situation is working out in your favor this is a good path or this is a good method a good mode to achieve your goal so move forward with it confidently okay excellent i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you please make sure to like share comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.